Today I'm going to be trying to do LT12, the light tank mission called uh, well called the Ghost. This is a mission where you have to do 3,000 Spartan damage while undetected. Now, going to be up front, I think this is one of the more difficult scouting missions. Like I've completed two today. There was one I was really struggling with for a long time, the one to get 2,500 damage and get 2,000 Spartan damage in the same game. I don't know why, but I found that one really difficult to do. The Spartan part I could do alright. It was getting the damage out. I ended up doing it in the 1390, which is the tank I should have used from the start. Because I'm far more comfortable playing the 1390 than I am the EBR 90. Because the EBR 90, I find it very easy to get myself killed in that tank. But when it comes to the 1390, I find that tank... The downtime that tank has when it's reloading its magazine helps me out a lot. But... Yeah, I was dumb to try and do that with the EBR-90 for like, I don't know how many games straight I just tried the EBR-90 without trying the 1390. It was a bit dumb in hindsight, but ah, it's been done now. So, the mission after that there as well, I think was just a mission to do 4500 Spartan damage. And I think, uh, did my internet just die? Oh, what has happened here? There's one guy moving. Oh, well. There's four tanks moving, and they're all moving in odd ways. Uh, like. <laughs> what the hell? Like, my tank literally won't move. Huh. Weird. <laughs> the T-49's around to help. <laughs> <laughs> and all of the chats are now popping up. This is a weird phenomenon that's been happening in the game recently for some reason. Lag just seems to strike for no apparent reason at random moments. And this sort of shit happens. <laughs> I mean, the last time I pressed the W key was probably around about like 7 seconds ago. There's a good bit of lag here. And you can see my turret trying to correct for where I'm looking. And it's really struggling to do so. This is the most catastrophic experience I've had so far, I, I think I can say it fairly. I mean, the last time I had held on the key for that long was probably around about 25 seconds ago. <laughs> oh my god, and I love how the, the, the 257's making progress. <laughs> Everybody else is sitting in the base and the 257's the only guy. Moved. <laughs> oh my god. I think it's. I'm trying to move every now and then. Oh. Hey, got control. <laughs> that was fucking weird. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Like, I love how that 257 got all the way to there while that was going on. I have no idea how that guy did that. But, well done to you, dude, to you dude, because I could not get my tank to even move, never mind get it to go that far. <laughs> so, my goal for this game is to try and get into a bush where I can hopefully passive scout the enemy vehicles while they're moving around the map. But, it seems like there's a lot of enemy vehicles around at the moment. And I do have a very, very, very high view range in this, in this, uh, in this tank. So... I should be able to outspot practically everything that comes towards me with my stealth and view range combination. Because that's just the... That's like the main strength of this vehicle. Oh, and the other mission which I completed, like, I think I beat it by actually playing the 1390 as well. So both of the missions which I did before this one were both done in the 1390. I really do like the 1390. It, it's weird, initially when it got reworked to be a tier 9, I didn't like it very much. But looking back on it now, like I'm playing the game recently, I don't really know why I didn't like it very much. I can't really work out why I didn't immediately like take to that tank, because it's actually genuinely fun to play. And just in general, I find light tanks with downtime a lot more appealing than light tanks that have to continuously use their gun, if that makes sense. Uh, let's kill that guy. So that guy has been removed from the fight. And now let's try and avoid getting killed by this T-44, but unfortunately 
One of the main weaknesses of this tank is it's pretty poor part of weight ratio for a light tank. Light tanks usually have insane part of weight ratios, this thing doesn't. I don't really think it's uh, a surprise that it doesn't have a very good part of weight ratio. I mean it's an absolutely minuscule vehicle that has a 90mm gun. So I guess this thing having like a 30 horsepower per ton ratio would have been a bit too, too far. But I do think there are some things they could do to this tank to make it a little bit more powerful in the game, but at the same time this thing's minuscule size is such a big advantage that it has over all of its competitors that, well, I don't know how exactly you could change this thing without making it overpowered, because I feel like, ev like if we ever ended up in a game where everybody was playing the ELC even 90, I feel like that would be one of the worst games you would ever play. Because nobody would be able to hit each other, and nobody would be able to spot each other. <laughs> it would just, that would be the the worst that would be the worst game of water tanks you would ever play. So I guess it's a good thing that these things aren't the most popular tier 8 premiums. Because if they were, they'd be a complete and utter nightmare. But hopefully I'll be able to get some damage into this guy here. Unfortunately my trend my attempt to dodge his shot didn't really work. So I'm just going to get out of his line of fire for a little while while we're going to reload. And I know I haven't completed what I was looking to do in this match whatsoever. But uh, yeah, I'm going to probably upload this anyway. Just purely because of the, the funny moment there with the... Like, thing is, this is the, I think, the 24th of, uh, of January. This isn't last week. Like, last week I knew lag issues happened. But... But I didn't think they were still going on. Like, for the most part, things had sorted themselves out. I have no idea how these lag issues are still continuing to happen. Also, the reason I died there is because I forgot how much health I had. <laughs> I'm used to playing tanks with, like, 1,200, 1,400 health at this tier. So, playing a vehicle that has, well, 900 is a little bit of a change. Um, I kind of expected to be able to take a couple more hits there before I died, but I forgot. It shows you how often... Um, I have never played light tanks. Just I forgot how little damage they can take before they die. <laughs> so these guys are probably going to die here in a minute. Well, the links. If he shoots, if he shoots the T10 in the right place, he'll kill him. But unfortunately, he shot him. I don't know where, but he just managed to not kill a sideways on T10 right there with a HG round. Not sure how he managed that, but yeah, that was the thing that happened. But I think I'll probably do another game. Like a different video, just trying to do the uh, the scouting mission because I don't know how long that lasted, but I felt like that was a fairly long game because we were all just stuck and not being able to move for quite a long time. So, how long was that game in reality? It was about six minutes, six seven minutes. I think we're gonna leave that one there because that's a uh, that's a good example of the lag that uh, but it has been going on on the EU server every now and then recently. I really do hope Wargaming works out what the problem is with that there and gets it sorted out sooner rather than later because it is a bit of a pain in the ass. Like I remember I was genuinely convinced that it was a problem with the uh, with the internet in my house and I was getting really angry about it trying to work out what exactly was going wrong with it but then I worked out oh no it's it's the servers.